We have been tootling around Sardinia for a few weeks now and it's lovely. Beautiful scenery, lovely park ups, but it's just too easy. And to be honest, we're ready for a challenge. So today we are heading from this coastal park up and we're gonna attempt to get to a very rural, very remote abandoned mine in the mountains. Sounds easy, right? What we haven't told you is that 10 kilometers of that journey is down what was called in a Google review as a four by four recommended miners track. Now we all know that our girl Dee Dee is not a four x four, she is a rear wheel, two wheel drive, <laughs> but we're gonna give it a go anyway and hopefully get there in one piece. We're prepared to do some hiking if it's necessary. Didi. Kind of wondering whether this was a good idea or not because it is just a sheer drop. It's just got a lot narrower and steeper than I imagined it would. Very small bridge and it's held up by some metal poles. Oh dear. Oh, she's creaking. Oh. So stressful. sure what to expect with this drive. I've done gravel tracks and stuff before but not for 10 kilometers up a hill so a little anxious. So you might be thinking why do they think it's too easy? <laughs> Surely travel and like living in a camper van should be easy like that would be really a desirable thing but if we're completely honest the thing that we love about travel the most is when we're like pushed outside our comfort zones and things are a little bit challenging or we you know we have to test ourselves a little bit so we're hoping that today is going to give us that little sense of adventure that we've been missing okay continue for three kilometers and so it begins oh it's a bit potholy to start oh <laughs> Bouncy, bouncy. Oh my god, what if it's like this for 10 kilometers? <laughs> I actually don't even know whether you are supposed to bring cars up here um, or, or motorhomes <laughs> for that matter. Oh, because on Google, the only photos I can see is of, of people on motorbikes or mountain bikes. So, fills me with a little bit of dread as to what we're going to encounter. Okay, let's see what we're in for. <laughs> it's a bit bumpy. Oh, that lady. Oh my goodness, it's getting pretty narrow. <laughs> Puddle! Just seen a very small bridge that we have to cross in order to get up this road and it's held up by some metal poles. There's no wait sign to say what it can take. Oh dear. Can we make it? I don't know but I guess we'll have to if we want to get up there. Looks okay. Just go quick. Okay. Are you getting in or am I just going to go without you? <laughs> I think you can go on your own. <laughs> Woo! 
Yes! Still alive. Oh, oh it's kind of nerve wracking. Whew. My goodness, that was kind of nerve wracking, but we made it. Onwards. Onwards. basically a four by four. <laughs> I'm having an absolutely wicked time driving on this road. Challenging myself a bit, challenging the van, and she is coming through strong. So this part of the road is definitely a lot steeper and narrower than the rest of the track that we have been on so far. Kind of wondering whether this was a good idea or not. Because it is just a sheer drop off the edge next to me. I'm gonna quite make it round. Ooh. Wheel spin! So what we're actually expecting by the time we reach the end of this gravel road is a load of old mine buildings, there's like workshops, a laundry where they used to like process all the chemicals. Apparently there's still loads of machinery up there and carts and stuff which would be really cool to see. And like all the houses where the workers will have lived. So I think at one point there was like 600 workers up at this mine and their living conditions were not supposedly very good. So I'm hoping it's going to be very interesting. Oh there's one of the entrances. Oh cool! The entrance to the mine. Stop the edge, yeah, yeah, let's have a look. Crocs are obviously the perfect attire. Whoa. It's open. It's open. No. <sighs> oh my god. Look. Holy sh! Wow, that is deep. Oh. oh my god, my legs are actually shaking. This is like my worst nightmare, James. I really don't like it. How do people live like this, like doing this every day? Oh my god, my like my mind is going a million miles an hour. That's enough. That is literally like my worst nightmare. You know like the movies you used to watch as a kid where people would like go down caves and stuff and then there would be like this whole other like monster world down there. <coughs> oh god that is horrific to think about. telling me you're not feeling very confident now about this road? It's just got a lot narrower and steeper than I imagined it would. Okay. So... Not filling me with great joy. Yeah. Being the passenger on the edge. It's quite a big edge as well. <laughs> I know! You're making me nervous. This is 
quite a hairpin. Now obviously I don't drive so it's kind of nerve-wracking because I know I can't be in control and there's nothing I can do to help so I just have to trust in Meeks and saying he says yeah let's go up the narrow track that the army guys went up and reverse backwards on a hairpin bend oh she's creaking oh. We're turning around. Okay, we're turning around. This is getting too much. Oh, Jesus. Can you tell me how much room I put down then, please? Yeah. Yeah, you can keep coming. Yeah, you're fine. How far is it? Could we reverse into that space and then walk up? Well, that was getting a little bit too stressful even for good old Meeksy here. Um, the road got steep, the hairpins got tighter and it's just a sheer drop down. So we're gonna leave the van here at this like decent lay by and then walk up and see what else we can find. Oh, stress is over quick check of the tyres after some of those massive rocks looking good thank you Rogue Alloy this video is not sponsored but we do have a discount code for Rogue Alloy if you are thinking of getting some all terrains or new rims for your van so we'll leave that somewhere on the screen here yeah I did say at the start of the day that we were prepared to do some hiking, so maybe I jinxed it. Hmm, yeah. Not the strongest of roads. I think we're making the right decision. You be good, Dee Dee. We're not so much worried about the road giving way or anything like that. It's more the fact her length is a problem. She's seven meters and to get round a corner like this, it's going to be three point turns all the way and some. Some of them are quite steep. It's quite gravelly. I think it would have just been so stressful. Plus there's loads of skid marks on this one already, which doesn't fill us with, you know, enthusiasm. I know we've already said it, but what an amazing place to come for a four by four adventure. <sighs> Absolutely loving it. Now that stressy Meeksy has gone away again. You were a little stressed, weren't you, dear? Yeah, with, with reason, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. All part of being a team, yep. taking on each other's stresses. It's all part of travel. Oh my God, what's even more exciting? Wild boar prints. They definitely look like little hoofs. <laughs> now this is what we were hoping we would find up the top of the hill. This is the miners' actual village where they live. <sighs> Feels very surreal to actually get up here. <laughs> oh. oh my god, there is so much machinery in here. This is insane. This place is really cool. Like there's some big machine toys, like look at the handle here, like It's kind of crazy to think that all of this machinery has just been laid here for like a very long time. That's obviously why it's so rusty and like 
deliciously beautiful. Just completely abandoned and left in this old storeroom. I don't think we've ever been somewhere like this before. This feels really freaky. That's a really freaky chair. And there's someone's coat hanging there. Oh my god. I want to get out of here now. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I just saw a dead dog, but it's actually just a goat, which is still horrific. But there's just a big pile of like hair and bones. And there's a dog kennel over there, so instantly, obviously, I thought it was a dog. Got a little bit more than I bargained for today, not gonna lie. Oh, there's another mine door. This one's open as well. Oh my god. Just be nice to the people that live there, okay? Oh. Go on. Oh my god, this one's like a really small tunnel. Wow. Uh. Here you go. I'm in. Uh, okay, it looks really light on this camera, but it's actually really freaking dark in here. I didn't close the door behind oh you. Oh my god, I'm um, sweating. Well done. <sighs> oh, your top lip. Oh my god. Ah. I am absolutely sweating. You might think I'm being dramatic, but that sort of thing is really. Is it just me, or does anyone else feel like absolutely petrified at the thought of being trapped inside a cave? I'm just going to close that now. There's also a massive cobweb just next to my hand. Okay, moving on. We've established I could never be a mine worker. Too pretty to be a mine worker. Oh, thanks. To, yeah, even with the sweaty top lip. Reaching the top of this hill, mountain, I'm going to call it a mountain, and seeing this like derelict and old place is both like beautiful and quite sad. The way that things have fallen apart looks incredible, but then you think, God, people used to live here and it was their livelihood to work in those mines. And it's just fascinating to me to see that. And it feels like a real sense of achievement to have made it up to the top in our massive orange beast, Dee Dee. <laughs> yes, she didn't make the last sort of 10 minutes, but I think that's understandable. So, oh, what a day so far. Now we have to head back down this mountain, all the way back down the road the way we came, and find a park up for tonight. Looks pretty good to me. Just parking in the middle of a river. Literally on the riverbed. So cool. We're not in anyone's way or anything, are we? No. Right, well I think we are gonna stay here tonight on this riverbed, pretending that we are a four by four. And let's just hope we can get out of here in the morning and we don't get ourselves stuck in the gravel. Fingers crossed. If you want to see us getting prepped for our trip when we got these tyres from Rogue Alloy, go and watch this video. <laughs>